So this is just another little interesting antidote. Isn't it strange that the Latin word for now, N-O-W, is I am. It's as if life were saying I am in existence in the eternal now. If one were to say I am in English and now in Latin, it would be I am, I am. This is not a coincidence. This is what I'm trying to get at, is that deep encoded in each letter, each letter that builds up the context of each word that we use throughout our days reveal not only our real written history, but our psychic history, how our consciousness evolved to this point and how civilization got to this point. And the Greek word for butterfly is psyche. Why? Why would that be? What we in English call the mind or psyche, the Greek call the butterfly. Well, it's because the, the butterfly comes out of a chrysalis, a crystal ball, a crystal sphere. And what, is it, what does it do? It's all transformation. So the Greeks knew that the mind was transformational. That's what it is. It's potential. It's universal potential. And the words, the tones, the images, and the symbols that we carry with us are encoded with emotional meaning based in time that are transformational. Now we can transform ourselves into anything we want. The Greeks preferred something beautiful like a butterfly. So in a weird sort of way, even though I'm not singing, using these words and trying to articulate this, which as you guys can probably figure out is really difficult because I'm using words which were designed to talk about the world I'm using words to talk about themselves, and they're not designed to talk about themselves. They didn't consciously come out to describe their own nature. That's why we're unaware of them. So this is, in a way, a bit like a song for me. So what is the, the breakdown of the, the symbolic meaning of the word song? Well, it's S-O-N-G. So song is the crystal seam. It's the transcendence beyond duality. It's that serpent. It's that wave. It's that light that's able to see, to see two things at once and then see beyond them and unify them. That's transcendence. And that's what the serpent represents. So the song is the transcendent crystal seam. On is the root word for ontology. Ontology is the study of being. It's being on, it's being present, it's being awake. And G, as we pointed out before, is gravity or ground. So the song is the transcendent crystal seam of being awake here now on earth. And these other two words that are really cool is present. So the present is a gift because it's pre-sent. Since it's pre-sent, it's not bound by time. When you're in the present, you are basically aware of your eternity. Sometimes that when we're in the present moment, we feel like we're nowhere. But what is nowhere? Nowhere is now here. It's right there in the word. It means you're now here. The present is timeless because it is pre-sent. We are aware of the present when we are aware of our eternity, which is always here. Nowhere is when you are now here. You're not in the past or the future. This is why the present is a gift. You are now here. So that concludes the, the portion of the, of the talk that is going to be on the laptop here and, and doing these slides. Um, and I'd just like to say that may the, may the light of the Spirit be in all of your words. Empower your speech and realize that it's it's divine and, and, and it's ours. It's ours as conscious beings and we need, we need to um, respect it, work with it, become aware of it, use it, and don't let anybody take it away because this is what has made civilization what it is thus far. So, Wopila, thank you very much for listening. And if you guys want to come back, you can take a break now. If you guys want to come back, I, I wrote some words up on this board to kind of just show you a little bit more about 
some of the way um, letters come into play as symbols. And then if we don't get to that, I'm totally open to do my best to answer some questions. And I got an announcement. He doesn't know about this. This bucket right here is for donations. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we need it for... He thank you, it, I, thank you. Also, also, I should tell you guys, I did write a couple books, and I have about 10 or 12 of them here tonight. I only have one chapter that de deals with etymology, etymology um, and one that deals with um, alternative history, which has to do with decoding our history by looking at the words that were used and following those trails. And it reveals a whole different level of history than what we're taught in schools. So um, if you're interested in any of this esoteric type of stuff, my book is available here um, or on Amazon. It's called Sun King, Soul Harmonica. It's $12. So there you go. <laughs> so.